I want to get nuts. So let's get nuts. We're going to try and grow the population kind of considerably today. We've started getting some stone houses in here, which is great. We're starting to cap out on tools, which is great. We're starting to cap out on clothes, which is also great. And we have a lot of food. We're making more food every year. We're producing more than we're consuming most years. Last year was about 2,000 more, but we can do better. We can do a whole lot better, and that's what I want to use this space for. Because my thinking is I can come up here and basically build an entire new town. And I know that might be a lot to try and build today, so I'm not going to promise that it all gets done in this episode. But I think we can start to plan something really cool up here. So that's what I want to do. I want to come up here and I want to build a market, let's say, honestly, right about there. Right. We'll do a market right about there. But we are going to need everything. And when I say everything, I mean, I want another chapel in here. And I'm really hoping it can go central in the market, which I think it can. So we're going to do a chapel. I'm going to move it back a little bit. And we're going to do a chapel right about there. Just because I can. We can do a little graveyard off to the side and all that good stuff eventually. But let's just go ahead and start putting some roads around this thing. Just so we can start to have a little bit of fun and see what this might look like. Uh, now we'll do a little road down here, a little road down here, and thankfully the chapel does go nice and central. So we'll push back a little bit further. I can't because there's some stuff in the way. So you know what? While all of this is going on, let me go ahead and get rid of my builders. And let me just say that my laborers are going to come up here and start to just prioritize, or not prioritize, sorry. They're going to start clearing everything. All of the trees, all of the rocks, all of the stone, absolutely everything needs to go. Because when I say I'm building a new town up here, I don't just mean houses. I don't just mean chapels and markets. I want more farms. I want ranches up here. I want orchards up here. And I want to do just, just everything that we could use. I'm thinking this space over here, we could probably get a couple of foresters out here. And now speaking about foresters, I've actually been doing some reading and I saw in the comments on, I think the last episode, there was one or two people that mentioned that uh, apparently the better way to have herbalists and gatherers is to have them in older forests. So having them in a forest that's being constantly chopped down by a forester is less efficient than having them in one that's been there for ages. I don't know how true that necessarily is because this entire forest here is controlled by this forester and there are clearly some mushrooms in there. So I might experiment with that at some point, but for the time being, my focus is very much going to be on just clearing this space and getting some stuff in here. So that's that's the goal. Now we have the market here. It's going to be difficult to see everything that I'm placing, but we'll do our best. Uh, we're going to have the market here. We're going to have the chapel right here. But I want other things as well. I think we're going to want a hospital. So let's do a hospital right about here. Let's go to the other side. And I think we're going to probably want it to a bit of a schoolhouse because we're going to have people living up here. So they're going to need education. And that's going to bring our capacity of students up to 60, which is considerable to be fair. But we'll make that work. And then we have what else do we have? We do have some production buildings. I think a tailor up here would be a really good idea considering I do. Oh, and I can fit it in there perfectly. Uh, considering I do want to get a ranch up in this space so we can double the output of clothes, which I think will be fantastic. I'm also thinking farms so we can probably go ahead and get more booze as well. Now, does this fit really nicely in this space is going to be the question. Uh, so can I move it down by one? I can move it down by a few, actually. So let's just go for I'm going to say right about there for the tavern. So that's going to be a hospital and tavern right next to each other, which is perfect. Uh, the schoolhouse and the tailor seems absolutely perfect as well. And like I said, all of my laborers can just come up here, start clearing all this stuff out, start moving the resources down into this space. And honestly, I'm going to do a little stockpile here as well. This is probably going to be temporary. In fact, we'll do sort of a double thing here just so all of these resources have somewhere to go so that the laborers don't have to go too far to actually clear out this space. And so while that's going on, I actually want to come down this way and talk about my farms and my fishermen, because there was another comment I read on the last episode, and I did respond to this one. I, I wrote a whole thing in there about the, the fishermen, and I just, I forgot about them. I'm going to be completely honest. So many people for so many episodes have been saying, hey, you've got room to quadruple the number of fishermen that you have. 
And then on the last episode, I saw a comment that said, hey, you can get up to like 2,000 fish from a fishing dock per year if you max it out. What have you got for me? Ooh, this is another thing I want to do today. I want to see if we can start getting a whole bunch of the different seeds in here. So let's... I mean, I don't, I don't know what we have and we don't have right now. I, I really don't remember. Can I actually have a look at my inventory and see, you know, what different uh, what different crops I can grow? So down here we have, we have a lot, man. We have pears, cherries, plums, peaches, and pecans. Over here we have potatoes, squash, wheat, and corn. And you are currently selling... So beans would be a new one. So I guess what we'll do is put our 625 in here. And we'll do some bean seeds just to uh, change things up a little bit. We'll make that trade and send you out of here. But what I want to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and double the number of fishermen that we have. We're currently on seven, so we'll bring that up to 14, which is going to be half of what we could have right now. And in theory, that should mean that we are now producing a thousand fish per dock per year. So that should be... 7,000 fish where last year it would have been what 3,500 so we're doubling the amount of fish that we should have per year which should mean that we have you know a nice little bit more excess food every single year we're also clearing this out really nicely so I can finally start to see what this space is sort of going to look like which is fantastic news and I think what I'm going to try and do actually is see if I can be a little bit cheeky and bring myself a road just all the way down here. Annoyingly, there's kind of uh, kind of some bushes in the way. So we'll go to about here for now. We'll skip the bush and we'll just sort of keep on going to there. And this is where I want to put some farms. This is kind of where I'm thinking we're just going to do a big old row of farms. I might try and do them on this side as well because we do have some space between the road and the hill. I also want to bring a road down here maybe do some wheat fields in that space so that we can improve the amount of booze that we're producing per year. I think that would be good as well. There's there's a lot. There's there's a lot that I want to do in here. Like I said, it's it's essentially going to be an entire new town is is what this is going to be. It's going to be a really, really busy space. It's going to have its own population, a whole bunch of people living up here. It's just going to be a matter of uh, just going to be a matter of building all that. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and say that I do want to get a... Oh, do I want to get a... Do I want to get a boarding house up here? Uh, I don't know. I actually, actually don't know if I want a boarding house. I don't think we need it. So I think we'll skip the boarding house. And I'm just going to go for... Honestly, I'm going to go for a bunch of wooden houses for the time being. We could start looking into... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go for that one because I don't like how it looks when it turns into stone. Um, <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be that petty about it. Uh, I think we'll just go for, we'll go for these guys, is what we'll do. So we'll get three of them across here, which will be absolutely perfect. I want to do a little road like this that just loops around and connects there really nicely. And I'm going to do another three of them just on the other side. And man, my builders are going to be so busy once I actually happen to get a few of them here. So there's one, there's two, and that's going to be three right there. So that's going to be room for six families. We're going to sort of do the same thing over here, probably do the same thing in this space as well, and probably do the same thing in this space as well, because I do want them to be clustered around the market. And honestly, what I might even go so far as to do is take out this planned road for a second and just get a few houses across here as well. And what I might do is use a different style for these ones. So we'll go for, we'll go for these just to be a little bit different on them. Uh, so it's the ones with that little porch right there. And we'll just do this, and I think I'm going to do a few that face outward as well. I don't know why I paused the game to do that. I've got absolutely zero reason to do it. It's not like anyone's going to be here to build it right now. So we'll do all of this, and we'll then bring this road sort of down and around like that. We'll connect it to here as well. And the good news is this market actually covers some of the farmers down here as well. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good for distribution, and it's going to be so good for this new area. It might be... It might look like I'm getting a little bit carried away, and I think that's, that is true to a degree. But I'm fairly confident in my plan for this. I'm not gonna let any of this fall apart. I am gonna take my time in building this. I'm gonna take my time in getting some farms, some, uh, some orchards, all that good stuff. I'm gonna try and do this properly, is, is what I'm getting at. 
so speaking of farms, we can go 12 here. And I'm going to go 12 by... I might just do 12 by 12 and do two farmers per field. I think that might be the way to go. So we'll do a couple of 12 by 12 fields right here. That's 12 by 12. And we'll do another one right here. So we'll get four of them across there, which seems pretty solid. And then down this way, we could potentially do... Let me see. So 12... Uh, where does this go up to? If I just deselect that, we want to go right about here. So if I go to Orchard and start here, can I go the entire way down? No, that's 16. Can I go all the way back here? I can go a decent distance. 15 by 9 on an Orchard is not bad at all. So we'll absolutely go for that. And then we'll just do some 12 by whatever we can achieve here. So 12 by 6 on that one. We can hopefully do a little bit bigger here. It looks like a 12 by 7. And then this one is probably going to be 12 by, we'll just do 12 by 14 on this one. So those line up nicely with all the farm fields. So that's four farms. That's four orchards. This road's going to have to be extended a little bit as well. So bring you down to, uh, down to about there. So we know that that's sort of the point that we want to go this way and this way. And I'm probably going to go across. Like I said, we can get some foresters out here. We have a lot of iron and a lot of stone to clear out of that space. But we just have so much to do around here that I want to I want to take my time with it. And I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. In fact, do I want to do blacksmiths up here? I don't think I need to. I don't think I need blacksmiths. I think we could do with a woodcutter, though, because we are going to have foresters and a lot of foresters nearby. So I think uh, I think some woodcutters in here would be a really good idea. So what we'll do is we'll get a woodcutter. I'm going to say right about there is is a decent spot for a woodcutter so we'll go like that and we'll do ourselves a little uh stockpile just next to him and maybe one just behind him as well so just so he's you know nicely surrounded by them and that looks all right so that'll be our woodcutter on the other side is there anything else that we desperately need we we could do a blacksmith i just don't think we need one i i don't i don't think we're gonna need a blacksmith up here i think we'll manage although i do just very quickly, we still have this harvest going on. I want to come down here and see how food production was last year. 26,000, 25,000 consumed. Okay. I'll tell you what, we have 21 laborers right now. Let me go ahead and increase the number of farmers on some of these fields. This is another thing that I've seen in quite a few of the comments is that I should probably go through, especially to the fields that are not being fully harvested, and just increase the number of farmers. This one should be getting harvested. They don't have very far to go. But it's all right. We still have a surplus of food. We still have excess every year. So it's not it's not the end of the world by any means. It's just not ideal is uh, is how I'm looking at it. Now, I'll tell you what. Ooh, is this this tavern is ever so slightly in the way of the road here? That's kind of annoying. OK, well, I I could get weird about it and I could get annoyed about it. I think I'm just going to let it be. And I'm also going to use some different styles of houses over here so that eventually when this all gets upgraded to stone, it's uh, it's just going to look interesting, really, is uh, is what it's going to be. And by that, I mean this side's going to use a different style of house to the other side. Not that this side's going to have a variety of houses, as you can see. But uh, I yeah, I could I could get weird about it. I could get annoyed about it. But I think what we'll do is just bring a road through here. And this can just go connect somewhere else. So this is in line with the church. We'll go to we'll go across. Let's see, we'll go straight across here. We'll go straight down here. Let's just bring this road up to here. We'll bring it across. We'll bring it down. This could be a this could be a graveyard. This could be a cemetery. It can be whatever. It doesn't really matter all that much. And I think in here we'll also go for a few houses. I think that's kind of what I want to do. I think I want to use this guy for the corner, just because it's gonna look interesting. And then I'll use a bunch of these guys. So we'll do one, we'll do two. And I, I do like the idea of bringing a road back here, so I'm not going to go crazy on that. We'll do um, maybe one of these guys here and I think another one right here. And that can be extended across, which is what I want. So what we'll do is just bring this little road down, get ourselves another one of these guys. And so that's a nice little square for houses. And then back here is kind of where I'm thinking we could probably do another pasture and start moving some sheep up this way. I also want to bring this road straight out here because this might be a good forester spot or a good farming spot. Either or. doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Connect that around. Go into food production. We'll go to pasture. And we'll do... 
12 by 11 is not huge for a pasture. It's definitely, definitely not huge. It could be a little bit bigger. So let's take a look and see if I can't maybe go a little bit larger on that. What can we go up to? We can go 12 or we can go 11 by 20. I think 11 by 20 is where we're going to go on that. And so that'll be a really nice little sheep farm. This corner can just be a stockpile since it's not going to be used for much else. We've got a bit of a gap in here, which can be a stockpile as well. We have this corner here, which actually looking at it could probably have some houses. So I think that's exactly what we'll do. We'll go, we'll go for two of these guys, even though I don't love how they look when they turn into stone houses. And so that's a really good cluster of housing. This is a good little cluster of housing. This will be a little bit of production. And what am I missing? Am I missing anything from this? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I really, really don't know right now. We have need for 99 builders. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is a ridiculous, ridiculous number of builders. But honestly, that's fine. We can uh, we can make that work. I do think this space might have to be a cemetery, though. I do. I think I think we're going to need a cemetery in here. We're going to have a lot of people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it back one from everything. It's not going to be the biggest cemetery, but setting it back by one means I can have a single little road here and then double it up around it so that we kind of have some nice little detailing. I'm going to double up this bit as well so it looks almost intentional. And then we'll do this little double part at the front of the uh, the chapel as well. Eventually, a lot of this will be turned into uh, stone, which will be great. That'll speed things up a little bit. But the priority, like I said, it's going to be clearing out a lot of the space. It's going to be getting all of the resources in here. It's going to be so much wood, so much stone to build all of this. But it's going to be good. And I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go full steam ahead with crossing this river and getting ourselves some foresters and all that good stuff planned. I think up here is going to be farming space. I was going to do a forester up here, but I think farming is probably going to be the way to go just to make sure that we do in fact have enough food to deal with all of this. So over here, I guess what we're going to need to do is say that I want all of that stone. So pretty much everything in that space, all of that stone is going to be mine and all of that iron and there's a lot of it is going to be mine. So every bit of that needs to go. And then we need to go in and say that I want foresters. Now, these guys, depending on where I put them, if I put one there, it's going to be a really good coverage for along the river. It's not exactly the most efficient. I mean, half of his area is a mountain that's completely unusable. But I'm going to give it a shot and I'm going to see if I can't maybe just cover this entire space with trees. This one has a much better space, so we'll have him face that way. This one, I'm going to say, is going to face uh, probably that way as well. And this one is going to be a little bit close to that one, but we'll have him face there. And that pretty much covers the entire space, which is what we're looking for. So we need bridges. We need foresters. We're probably going to put some hunters, herbalists, whatever we want out there and just experiment a little bit. And then this space back here, like I said, I think it's going to be farms. So we'll go in once again and see what we got. Let's do, uh, what was this, 11? So we'll do 12. Can I do a 12 by 10 right here? I absolutely can. So let's actually do 11. Let's do 11 by 11. And I can bring a little road across here with more houses. So that's going to be one. And then I'm going to be a little bit limited on space here, I think. We can go 13 by 7, which is honestly not bad. We can do another 11 by, what have we got here? 11 by seven, I'll allow it. We'll do 13 by whatever we can do here. 13 by 12, right about there. And then we'll try a 13 by, let's just do 13 by, or maybe what, 12 by 12 here. We'll do the same right about here as well. So do 12 by 12. And these guys are all coming together. These guys will come together soon enough. This will be, this will be a lot of food. This is going to be a lot of food. I'm actually really excited about this. Can I connect these guys together? Is that an option? It absolutely is. Ooh, the game was not. Why did I just get some? Why am I getting frame drops all of a sudden? That's no, oh, no, they're gone. All right. That's new and a little bit worrying. Uh, we also have need now for 112 builders, which is ridiculous. That is. um. That's a lot of builders, is what that is. <laughs> that is a lot of builders, man. Good lord. 
Uh, but this is also a lot of farms that I'll be able to provide for all of them. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'll tell you what we'll do. It's late winter. Let me take a chance here. Let me say that you are going to be doing, let's say corn and let's say, oh, these are orchards. Let me do, let me do cherries in a few of these. So we'll do some cherries right there. We'll do some pears and we'll do some pears for this one as well. This one's going to be, that was corn. So this one can be corn as well. And then we'll do some beans for the uh, remaining two. And I'm going to bring these guys down so that they're only using, I, I want to say they're only going to be using two farmers each, kind of like what we've done before, just to make sure we're not going to be overworking them. And by, no, not overworking them in the sense that, I mean, my farmers are going to be overworked because there's probably not enough of them for the fields, but you know what I mean? Uh, so this is going to be, that, that can be two. Let's see, we have need for 58 farmers now. <laughs> wow, that's, um, that's pretty steep. Let's go up to, um, let's go up to 50 farmers for now. Let's set this to be beans as well. We'll say two farmers in that field. We now have need for 60 farmers. We might need more houses all of a sudden. There's, uh, <laughs> there's a definite chance that we're getting a little bit low on houses. And uh, I think what we'll also do is just fill this space. So let's see what we can do. Let's just do nine by 15. Might as well fill that space. We have it there. We're not using it for anything else. And then a road can just come down this way is uh, is what we'll do. Probably get another bridge across here at some point. But for the time being, we'll bring a road down here. And honestly, I want to know if I can connect these guys together. Is that an option? It is. We're totally doing it. We're totally connecting those together. That's absolutely perfect. This is going to be something. Let me tell you this. <laughs> when I start building this, it is it is going to be something. You know what I haven't built, though? And I'm annoyed that I've just realized this. I haven't built a storage barn, but we have the perfect spot right in here for a storage barn. So let's let's just build a storage barn right about there. And uh, yeah, we'll bring a little road out like this sort of down and around, I guess. And I can do maybe a little stockpile in the middle there for absolutely no reason. Can I do a road that goes behind these farms? Is that an option? No. That's a little bit unfortunate. Can I do this? I can totally do that, actually. So let's just do... Let's do that. We'll connect across here, and that'll be another way to get to that storage barn, I suppose. That's by no means going to be enough. I'll tell you that right now. That's one storage barn for a whole lot of space. So we'll do another one here. And I'm still not convinced that's necessarily going to be enough. So maybe... Maybe one up here as well would be a great idea. We'll do a storage barn right about there. Can I do a little road that goes to the back of it? I absolutely can. That'll hopefully cover a lot of the farmers. That'll hopefully be enough. I'm not 100% convinced it will be, but here's hoping. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start getting some builders. We're going to go for five builders, I think. And I'm going to prioritize... I don't know what to prioritize. <laughs> I've really got no idea. I'm just going to say prioritize the market, prioritize the chapel, prioritize the production buildings, I think, over the houses, prioritize maybe the, the, the pasture back there as well. And I don't know if that's actually what they're going to do. I've really got no idea, but I'm hoping they do. And it looks like they're doing that. So we'll hopefully start to use a lot of the resources that we get out of this space for production before we completely overwhelm the uh the entire the entire town the entire settlement whatever we're calling this the entire thatchum with uh <laughs> with a lot because we have what one two three four five six uh 12 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have the potential as soon as families move in here for an immediate plus 26 children which is uh a lot and that's a lot when you consider that I haven't put houses out here yet. And I'm probably going to, because again, we are going to have people working out here. And we do have people working in these fields. And if they're living a little bit closer to it, they'll be having a bit of a better time. So we'll do a couple of houses here. And we'll do maybe just a single house right there. I'd love to get a house in here as well. This is actually kind of a cool little spot for one. So we'll do a house in there as well. Can I get one in here? I totally can. So we will. Yeah, so we're going to have room for a lot of uh, a lot of people. We've also got this pasture here for sheep, which is good. We'll go down to one person work on that and we'll get ourselves. Where is it? Herdsman. We have need for two of them. So we'll do that. We'll head all the way down to here and split. 
So we'll have six down here. We can have up to 13 in this uh, this top one here. We also have all of these fields coming together, which is kind of wild. We're above 20,000 food right now as well, which is also kind of wild. And it's only going to be higher. So let's do potatoes and bring that down to two farmers. Let's do potatoes on this one as well. We'll say maybe one farmer for that one just to be safe. We also have a few fields down there that don't have workers at all right now. So I need to um, I need to be careful with what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. Let's say that this one's going to be squash and this one can be squash as well. This one can then be beans and this one still needs to be cleared. It can probably be uh, beans as well. This one, what are you? Beans? We'll have you be... You know what? We'll do we'll do beans on this one as well. We're gonna have a lot of we're gonna have a lot of beans up here, which is probably totally fine. Oh, that is a lot of nomads right there and right there. That is a huge group of nomads coming through here. And you know what? I am not entirely tempted to turn them away. I also don't know where these ones are going. They might have a real... Oh, I think they might be going up here to cross. I, I don't know where they're going. I'm not thinking that I'm immediately going to turn them away, though. I think what I am going to do is turn my limit of tools into 300, my clothes into 300 as well. And we'll see how things go with everything else. But I'm thinking we might bring these nomads in. Also, last year was 29,700 food production. Consumption was 26,700. So you know, plus 3,000 uh, food right there is not bad. And that's with a few of these fields not being worked right now because we don't have the numbers. And honestly, that's why I'm tempted to accept these nomads. Is that them arriving? It absolutely is. That's why I'm tempted to accept them because we kind of just need the numbers. They can go live in the boarding houses for now for all I care. We just need the numbers of laborers and builders and all that stuff. So... Let's let's take a look and and see. It is 44 nomads. Sweet merciful mother. There are few circumstances where I would accept that as a number of nomads, but we're going to do it. We have 7 laborers right now. We now have 29. Yeah, that's um that's pretty good. <laughs> that's that's a lot better. Uh so here's what we're going to do. I am immediately going to I'm immediately going to bring my... What if I bring my farmers just straight up to 77? How many does that leave? I don't have enough. Wow. All right. We'll bring my... Um, bring my farmers to 67. Because I can. We'll leave my builders on 7. And that means that at least all of the food production is going to be sorted out. Now, a lot of these guys are homeless, which isn't ideal. But we do have... We do have homes that will be under construction soon enough, so... It's by, it's by no means the end of the world. We'll get them moved up into this new space soon enough and everything will be good. We also have need for another tailor who is going to be set to do wool coats. So we'll go ahead and get another tailor. We have need for another teacher and we will probably have need. I mean, we can do cherry ale now. That sounds delicious. That actually does sound really good. I don't know that I want to get another brewer immediately, but... I mean, it doesn't, again, it doesn't sound like the worst idea in the world. I'll be completely honest. It really doesn't. We'll also get ourselves another woodcutter, which leaves us three laborers. Let's take two of the builders out. And that gives us five laborers, which is, I mean, they're getting everything around to where it needs to be. These bridges are ready to be built. Everything up here is ready to be built. An outbreak of influenza has occurred. Interesting. This person here is a little bit sick. But thankfully, I did build a hospital up here, so they should, if they would stop constructing things, they should be going to a hospital. It looks like they're probably going to go to the other one, though, which is a bit of a problem. We do have medicine, though. We have 181 medicine. We have two hospitals. We should be fine. There's also apparently no one working in this field still, which is a bit frustrating. Yeah, they're going to this hospital, which is all right. There's now two people with it. I suspect we're going to see a few people get influenza. I suspect we're going to see a few people that are sick, but I don't think it's going to go crazy. We do have medicine. We do have two hospitals. I I think everything's going to be okay. We also, for some reason, have 20 people without jobs. What just happened? Oh, no. The mine ran out of iron, and I just punched my microphone. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I want to say we 
don't need 20 miners anymore. So let me bring you down to 20. And let me say that I'm going to deconstruct the mine. And I guess we're going to build another one over here. So we'll go and build a mine. I wish I could build it right there. So it'd be in line with that road. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. We'll build it here is what we'll do. And we'll get ourselves just a little road that kind of runs just right along the front of this thing about there. We'll have a little road that comes out here as well. That should be fine. We'll get that built in time. Uh, the same is going to happen here, actually. This thing is 23% of its stone remaining. We have a lot of stone in storage, but we are also using it for construction. So I'm just going to let them go nuts and mine all of that out. We'll build another quarry soon enough. Uh, we also have need for another cleric. So let's get another cleric in here. Our five builders are doing fantastic. We actually do have... Ooh, that's a lot of kids. We actually do have a lot of the houses coming together here as well, which is fantastic news. This thing is only 8% full, which is great. The market's up and running as well. We have currently got, what, nine vendors and I think four markets. So let's bring this up to 12 so that each market should have three vendors now. So they're all going to work that a little bit better. A lot of these houses are coming together very quickly. That's slightly scary, to be honest, because it does mean, like I said, the population's kind of going to blow up, but that's what the point of this whole thing is. So hopefully I can maybe convince my builders to prioritize the bridges and prioritize, you know, everything else before they prioritize all the houses. Although in saying that, 14,000 food right now, that's not too bad. Let's have a little bit of a look here and see how we're doing. 27,000 produced this year, 25, almost 26,000 consumed. Not terrible, honestly. That's that's definitely, I mean, it could be better. Last year was 29,000. Uh, but again, we do have one of the farms here that's not being worked right now. And honestly, let's bring the number of miners down to 15. And let's see if I can just put another couple of farmers out there. In fact, let's just do the full 77 so that every farm field is nicely covered. I am a little bit concerned that we're going to start chewing through all of the iron that we have. There is a decent amount in storage and we are reaching the cap on tools, which is again 300 now, not 150. But still a bit of a concern, still a bit of a worry. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I just want to make sure that we're actually fine, right? That's that's. I'm just double checking, triple checking all that good stuff because the last thing I want to do is uh, is run out of anything. I don't want this to be a catastrophic mistake. And so as we go ahead and take over into early spring again, I want to take a look down here at food production. Last year it was 32,563 produced, 33,328 consumed. The reason I'm a bit worried about this is simply because at one point last year, we did get a notification about the reserve of food being low. We had under 3,000 at one point. In fact, I think we had close to 2,000 at one point. So not exactly ideal. Definitely, definitely not ideal circumstances. But I did notice that a lot of the fields up here, their yield was struggling to get anywhere near 50% at certain points. So I'm hoping this year is going to be a little bit better. We have a lot of these guys are growing again now properly, which is great news. These guys are doing the same thing. So... My hope is that this year is going to be the first year that we see a really big surge in the amount of food that we're actually able to uh, to produce. I'm also noticing that we're capped out on both the tools and food or food. Why do I keep getting? Why do I keep saying food instead of clothes? Anyway, we have enough clothes. We have enough food. We tools, tools. I'm food on the mind right now. That's the problem. I'm worried about the food situation, but we have enough clothes we have enough tools so we can hopefully focus on the food situation which looking at this it's early summer and these fields look to be really nicely grown these squash fields are actually the ones that seem to be struggling the most despite the fact that some of these guys have three farmers per field which is a lot more than i was expecting i did mean to bring those down to two and honestly i still might but I mean, the payoff seems to be pretty great on those. So I think I'll hold off on, you know, taking the farmers out of their jobs for the time being. It's early summer and they're already harvesting the uh, the beans as well. So 
that's got to be great. That's That's got to be doing good stuff for us. I don't know if beans... I don't know what the harvest necessarily looks like for those, but I'm sure having an early summer harvest is going to be good. I guess that means that I get some some laborers a little bit sooner than later. And I mean, speaking of laborers, we still have 10 of them. We have 54 students, so another f another five students now. And we're going to see a lot of the kids just go straight out into work. So not going to be too long and we'll start to see the workforce grow quite considerably from uh, all these new houses, which is what I'm looking for. Also can't help but notice that this thing still hasn't been built, but to be fair, the builders have been, well, building and crazy busy for the last couple of years now. So I think it's, uh, I think it's reasonable that they might be taking their time with things. I'm also liking that we seem to be climbing towards nine and hopefully 10,000 food in the not too distant future. Though these things are never really filling up and man, I'm, I'm just... I'm just worried. I'm just I'm just worried that I have, in fact, overdone it. There we go. We're now starting to see things go a bit crazy. Uh, production this year is already 18,000. Consumption this year is 18,500. So, yeah, fair enough. Here's here's hoping. We're over 10,000 food again, which is at least something. We have all these guys being cleared out. I have marked this entire space to be cleared as well, just by the way. So the foresters that get built out here are going to be starting from scratch, essentially. We also just had four new laborers because we filled all the schools. Wasn't expecting to do that so quickly, but I will absolutely take the laborers. And uh, I don't know where to put them. Actually, I know exactly where to put them. Let's go up to 21 fishermen. So we should now be doing 1,500 fish per year per dock, which is absolutely fantastic. That's what we're looking for. That's hopefully going to, in fact, we could do more fishing, uh, fishing docks up here as well, which we should absolutely do because again, if we max those out, that's up to 2000 fish per dock for this new space, which would be absolutely amazing. So hopefully we can do that. Hopefully all my farmers can, uh, can get to work as laborers and just help clear out this whole space so that we can get those foresters. Not that we urgently need them. We have 2,500 firewood. We still have 500 logs. Despite the fact there's no mines right now, we still have over 500 iron, which it, it, that's helped by the fact that we're clearing out this space, but we're still doing good in terms of just about every resource, except, well, I was going to say except for food, but we're sitting on 20,000 of that right now in early winter. So if we have a look, production this year has been 37,000, almost 38,000. Not bad. That's not bad. We might have to increase the f the uh, the food storage to uh, 100,000 at some point, which is what I want to do. That is kind of the goal to uh, to increase those numbers quite considerably. I just I'm really trying to not get carried away. I'm trying to not get ahead of myself. I just want to uh, I want to make sure that this works out. But thus far, I mean, it kind of is. I'm also thinking I could use this space because here's the thing, right? I did mention I wanted to build, and I think we have built this road down here. I think I mentioned I wanted to build some wheat farms out here. I could do that, and that would be good for the ale production over here, which I don't I don't know. Do do people do they eat it? Because here I've seen a few people saying I should turn the wheat into bread. There's no way to do that in Banished. So I'm assuming that like your citizens buy it, and I'm assuming the logic is that they turn it into bread. So I mean, what if I just build a bridge up here and then go ahead and put a bunch of wheat farms out there? I mean, we've got we've got the space for it. So we'll do we'll do a little bridge right there and we'll do some wheat farms in that little space. We can also get the stone and the iron and the trees from that space as well. We can get some more houses in here, too, which I think will be good just to keep that population growing. Not that it necessarily needs to. I think we're over. Yeah, we're comfortably over 300 people right now. 220 adults, essentially 60 students and 50 kids. Or yeah, that's it's a lot. <laughs> it's it's a lot of people. So I'd say we're doing all right, honestly. I think this might be one of the most successful so far uh, colonies or whatever you want to call it that I've ever had. So absolutely no complaints from me. Now last year, 40,000 produced food. Yeah, I think last year was a little bit more productive than uh, <laughs> than the previous ones. Not bad. And so now summer's come around again and we have another early harvest. So I think it's fair to say that having the correct number or closer to the correct number of farmers per field is actually really beneficial. These fields down here, even though even though they're smaller, 
So they're not really getting harvested until late summer. This one's not getting harvested. Well, it is getting harvested, but it's not being touched just yet. And it's about to be autumn. So I think we might want to take a pass at all of the fields. And this is something that's been in the comments. This isn't me sitting here going, I've had a really good idea. I'm going to increase the field, the farmers in the fields, because I think it would be good. I've I've seen the comments about this. This is 100% something that the, you guys have been saying for longer than I care to admit that I absolutely should do that. So I think we've gotten to the point where I absolutely should do that. I also think it might be an idea to go around and upgrade a few more of the roads that we have. So I'm going to come around here and get these guys swapped out for stone. I do want to upgrade all of this as well, just for the aesthetics. I try not to do too many things for looks, especially when we've just sort of built this space, but I think it probably should uh, have a little bit done just for the detailing around the chapel and around the uh, around the cemetery there as well. So we'll do all of this. But then what I'm also going to do, I think, is change out this road for stone because it can loop down here. And then this road is going to be faster, which is important. So that entire road gets swapped out for stone. This road then needs to be swapped out for stone as well, which means this road needs to be swapped out for stone, which means this road also needs to be swapped out for stone. And we connect these guys straight through like this. We can also do the same thing with this one. And generally, this should just make it so much faster for people to uh, to get around. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. So connect that straight through there. And that should be good. That should just make it a little bit faster for people to walk around. Uh, we can do the same thing here as well. Bring that straight down. Bring that straight across. And it goes already into a stone road. We can change out this to have stone around it as well just because it probably should, and that'll be pretty good. So that's going to let people just get around here super duper quickly, which is exactly what I need them to be doing. Also, early winter, 26,000 food in storage. I think we're doing all right. Also, this is a ridiculous amount of stone and iron to have anywhere, uh, but we are starting to clear this space out. We actually have three of the foresters up already, which is great news. Uh, we also have 25 laborers, so let's start maxing out the fishing docks. Let's max out the uh, the gatherers there as well. We could probably max out the foresters, but I'll hold off on that one for just a second. We'll bring that down to, uh, maybe we come down to just the two builders. I also suspect that we have, we do have a new mine up and going as well, with only 12 miners in it, but that's, that's fine. We have a decent amount of iron storage anyway, so... I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, all of these things are actually up and running now as well, which is great. So can I just connect some uh, some paths through here? Is that going to be an option? I don't remember. I don't remember what the front of these things looks like. I'm assuming so that's the front of that one. I think this is the front of that one. And we can just run this all the way around. This is a little bit. It looks a little bit silly having all these guys here right now, but it's it's for the best right we're gonna let them replant all the trees we're gonna get a lot of wood out of here which means we'll have all the firewood that we ever need it's gonna be good it's just gonna take a while we did we, we do still have a good number of laborers to come up here and clear all that out i do need to keep in mind that i'm gonna need to keep builders to get these stone roads in here so we'll let them keep going at that for a while and it's a lot of stone road that they need to go through in place so maybe we bring that up to five builders just to get it done a little bit quicker. Oh, would you look at that? Nomads have arrived at the town hall. 49 of them. Oh boy. Last year's food production was almost 10,000 more than... Oh man. <laughs> do I want to do this? Oh, this might be a really bad idea. <laughs> this, this might be... This might be a really bad idea. It's about 100 nomads in a single episode. Do I want to take that chance? I... I kind of do, man. I kind of do. Because we still have everything that we need, you know? We do. We kind of have everything that we need. And I have some jobs that I want to max out. I have some farms that I'm doing it. I'm doing it, man. I've got 48 laborers right now. Here's what we're going to do. Two farmers on each of these fields. We're going to say exactly the same thing for these orchards down here as well. And then what we can also do is go back up to 20 miners in this mine. And if I now go down the list, we need up to 88 farmers right there. 
we are going to need up to 32 foresters. So if I swap this out to 32, that leaves us 20 laborers, which is totally fine. 25 miners leaves us with 10 laborers. And a lot of those people are unfortunately homeless, but at the very least, we've managed to fill a lot of jobs. So that's that's kind of what I was looking to do. That was kind of the point. Now, an outbreak of mumps has occurred. Of course it has. What we can do at the very least is come in here and just get a few more houses. We can get, well, we're going to need more than a few, but we'll get some more houses and we'll get these uh, get these nomads into them as quickly as we can. So we'll just do a whole stack of these guys just up in this space. And that's kind of what this space was always going to be for, was a bit more population growth. So we'll do something like this. And I'm not... Oh, I can get another one in there. So we will do one more house right there. I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced I can bring a, a path down around there. I absolutely can't. But I can get a path there which is totally fine. So that's going to be a lot of expansion. That's going to be more population growth, but I'm fairly sure we can pull this off. I'm also thinking we'll go up to 10 builders just to try and get things done that little bit quicker. And man, this might, <laughs> might be a really bad idea. We have 73 children right now. We also have all of these guys who are now out of a job because that quarry has just run out. So we'll go ahead and start getting that bulldozed and I mean, I guess what we're going to have to do is build a tunnel through this mountain and put a quarry out over here. So tunnel right there. We can just place a quarry about anywhere, really. It doesn't matter too much where it goes. We'll go for... Honestly, we'll go for just about there, relatively close to where the tunnel's going to be. And I can also, if I want to, which I do, I can put a tunnel through here, which I think might be, might be kind of great. Just give them access to this new quarry from about all sides, which is a good thing. Access from there as well. We have the tunnel coming through on this side, so we want to go up like this. And we're just going to try and surround this quarry with some uh, with some paths the way we always do. And then this is the tunnel coming through there. And so what we can do with this is just throw a bunch of stockpiles into uh, a whole bunch of the corners here. So we'll do a nice what, 10 by 8 stockpile right there. That should be enough for a good amount of stone. That'll probably take a while to get built since the area needs to be cleared, since we need the tunnels and all that stuff, and we need to clear this out. But this is... Well, actually, it probably won't, won't take too long at all because we're going to have a lot of laborers, but at the very least, we... Uh, oh, wow, these are already getting built. That was... That was kind of quick. I also can't help but notice that no one's homeless anymore. There's a lot of people living in that boarding house, though. And a lot of people living in that one. So they still have to move out, which is totally fine. That's kind of to be expected. Uh, it's also winter of year 45, and we had 31,000 food in storage just there. Production this year has been 46,000, which is higher than production of last year. We might pass 50,000 produced food this year, which would be kind of wild. But I wouldn't complain because we did just accept another 50 nomads. So so it might be a really good thing if we did that. I'll be honest. Uh, it, <laughs> it would be really nice. It would be really nice if we, uh, you know, didn't happen to run out of food anytime soon because I accepted way too many people into the colony. There's also no one in that boarding house anymore. There's no one in that boarding house. So everyone has their own house. We have almost 60 students. We have 76 children. And we have so many houses. Let me have a look at some stats. Let me have a look at some stats for the nerds amongst us. It is year 46. There's 120 homes, 155 family. How does... Anyway, 407 citizens. All of them are clothed. 72% of them are educated. That's actually kind of amazing. That is a much higher number than I was expecting. Good Lord. All right, I am slightly blown away by that fact, actually. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. I'm I'm genuinely quite surprised at how many of them are educated. That's a really, really pleasant surprise. Okay, I'll tell you what, since this episode's running on a little bit, I don't want it to go on for too much longer because I am trying to keep these episodes as, you know, reasonably, reasonably short. Uh, let's do some farm fields up here. We'll do some 10 by 10 by 15s. 
just to uh to use the space we can do we could do a little something down here i think what we'll do is get ourselves a storage barn so we'll go for right about there for a uh for a storage barn get ourselves a little, little road that goes around it as we usually do i could do a house here as well i'm not really against i'm not really against it i don't really have any reason to do it either i don't think but I guess it wouldn't hurt to have uh, have some housing out here where people can, you know, live and, and work at the same time. So we'll do, I don't know, we'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do this one. We'll do two of those. That should be just fine. And what these can be, I guess, is wheat. We'll do some wheat fields up here. I don't know if we need them. I don't know if people eat it. I've really got no idea, but that's what we're going to do. These have need for three farmers. I am going to say two just because I, I like keeping it that way. We need up to 94 farmers now. But that should be... That should be solid, man. That should be pretty good. It really should. We... we <laughs> I'd be really surprised if we run out of food. How did we do last year? What was production? 48,400 on the dot. Not bad. Although I will say it is summer this year and we've already consumed... Uh... <laughs> Almost half of, well, that's actually probably on, on point, to be honest, but consuming almost 20,000 food when you're just about halfway through the year is, that's an intimidating statistic. That's a really intimidating number, but I, I guess this is kind of how Banished is when you have over 400 citizens, which again, I don't think I've ever had that before. <laughs> this is new to me. And it's kind of exciting. I'm really, I'm really liking it. I'm not going to lie. Now, the last thing I want to do for today is get some fishing docks in here. So I wonder, can I get one right here? Unfortunately not. It would have been really cool if I could. I can get one up here, though. So a fishing dock right about there is going to be great. Uh, I can get one right about here as well. I don't know what the overlap looks like on these. So I'll put it a little bit further away right about there. And I'm wondering, can I get one down here as well? Uh, probably is going to be the answer to that. I think, yep, we can get one right about there, which is also great. I don't know if I can get a... I can get a little path there, which is good. So that's going to be three fishing docks. So that's two, four, six thousand fish, if those numbers are to be believed, which I have no reason to believe that they, they can't be. Uh, that'll be 8,000. This would be about 10,000 if I can get this in a good spot, which I'm thinking I sort of can. I don't know what the overlap looks like on these, to be quite honest with you, but we'll go for right about there. And we'll do ourselves a little path just like this. And that should be good, man. That should be more than enough fish for this entire space. I could follow this entire river down. I think for now, we'll just sort of leave it be. I don't need to get too carried away with things. We already have this one coming together. This guy has some iron tools in, uh, in storage, which is pretty cool. We still have apparently a lot of people that aren't working. I guess that's because this thing only has 15 workers this time. So I'll tell you what, let's bring the stone cutters back down to 15. Since we have sto so much stone in storage, that gives us up to 24 laborers, which is going to be useful because we are going to need, well, we're going to need fishermen, right? So we have currently got a need for up to 32. So we'll add four more right there. And that's another plus 2000 fish. We have this one. That's about, we have 25 laborers. We just had so many people become laborers right there. It is ridiculous. The numbers that we're dealing with now are ridiculous. And I absolutely, I adore it. I'm having so, I'm having so much fun with this right now. It is, it is kind of crazy. It is nuts. I'm even inclined to say that we need another school because we have the 60 students, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Let's go up to 36 fishermen. This one over here is about to be built. This one's about to be built. Oh man, this is going to be, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be good. I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, up to 40 fishermen right there. And with the two more, so we need to go up to 48 fishermen. Although the game does get a bit weird sometimes if you do the, uh, if you do the numbers early. So we'll hold off until these are built. We have need for 44 right now. So there's the 44. And this is going to be up to 48 right there. That should be amazing we also we're low on firewood that's understandable given how many homes we have now <laughs> that actually yeah that checks out that actually that one actually checks out that's that's fair enough um all right well <laughs> i wasn't eh, i don't know why i'm surprised uh let's do another woodcutter then 
We'll go for right about here. And we'll do a little stockpile across the street from him. Just so he's uh got a little somewhere to put uh put his put his firewood. I mean it's it's gone into early spring now, so we'll start to stockpile, but I do think having I do think having some more woodcutters is gonna be good for us. It seems to be the one thing they're complaining about, so hopefully we can get out ahead of that. Uh, we still have need for builders, so we'll go down to... We'll just stick with three for now. And one last little look at the numbers. Only 39,000 food last year, 43,000 produced. So it fluctuates uncomfortably, is, is what it does. That is an uncomfortable fluctuation, but we'll manage. We'll, we'll be okay, is, is what we'll be. We better be. If this, if this turns out to be the downfall of Thatcham, then two things. Damn it. And also, to be fair, we've had a good run. So it's it's difficult to complain. It is, I will complain, however, about the fact that these fields have once again had a bit of a terrible, terrible thing going on here. Despite the fact that, you know, this one is three workers. I'm almost inclined to say that my farmers might have to be, they might be traveling too far. I wonder if that's what's going on. I wonder if they're like, for some reason, they're going all the way across the map for something rather than maybe going to this market. So we might need to put a market in here. Anyway, we'll figure it out. It's it's not the end of the world. I think we'll be okay for this year. Oh man. What growth though. This is this is cool. This is this is a cool looking space. It's you know a lot of farms, a lot of fields, a lot of stuff going on. We're a little bit low on firewood. We're up to near 700 right now, so it's not the end of the world, but we're doing all right. I'll tell you what we're also doing. We're leaving it there for today. This episode has been so much longer than I wanted any episode in this series to be. We'll consider this a one-time thing. This is your one super long episode of the series. The next one's going to be like five minutes long, and it's going to be just a, it's just going to be a time lapse of Thatcham burning to the ground because the people riot because they have no food. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll see what the next episode is when it comes around, because right now I've got no idea where we go from here. I'll figure it out, but right now, no idea. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.